up, guys? I'm John. And I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Yes, another one. It's another <laughs> great day. Uh, we want to talk about some great things today and special things. Uh, every relationship goes through certain milestones mm -hmm. every year. You, uh, you, you know, you guys celebrate these different holidays together, like maybe Christmas, birthdays. birthdays. Valentine's Day is an important one, right? Then you got these Hallmark holidays like Sweetest Day and all these other good things. But probably the most important one, and you guys will definitely agree with me on Don't this. Don't mess this up, fellas. Whether you have a girlfriend or fiancé or you're married, especially, <laughs> is your anniversary. That's right, your anniversary. So no matter how early the relationship is or how old the relationship is, this is always an important one, especially for girls, okay? So you guys out there, this is from my side, mm -hmm. make sure you know that date. Yeah, don't mess it up. <laughs> and make sure you do something special for them. Anything. And that's really what it comes down to, you know? Every year, you guys are celebrating another great year together. Mm -hmm. And as you guys go on, you guys are going to celebrate more and more. Now depending on what you're gonna do for your celebration or where you're at in your relationship, really depends on you guys. And you can do a lot of different things. I mean, anything, literally. You could do dinner, you could do a movie, you could do absolutely nothing. That would be amazing for me and John. We could just do nothing, but that's not gonna happen. It falls on a Thursday, which, you know, is the day of the week that we're open here at Tight Medical Center. That's so right. <laughs> no that's matter right. what, we're gonna be working. That's right. But you can still make it very special. You definitely want to make it special, all right? And the more time goes on, you want to keep making it special. The harder it gets. Keep the romance <laughs> up, right? Be don't let don't become complacent. Oh, it's just another year, honey. Here you go. Here's a card. It's not going to do good, all right? <laughs> this is our th tomorrow. Well, this week was our 13th year anniversary. So that's pretty big. 13 years, been together. We've got an 11-year-old, been married, the whole nine. Mm -hmm. um, and we still work together every day. And so we it's get along really like good. I told John, it's 26. It's 26 I, just, years. I even put that in the card. I said <laughs> that we've been together for 26 years. Because technically, <laughs> if you think about it logically, right? So you don't spend every waking moment with your significant other, right? So considering that we do spend every waking moment together, we should double the time. So 13 times 2. I guess I mean, that's logical, right? It's super logical. <laughs> <laughs> Usually, couples that try to do this. Either it works out, which mm. is very rare, or they rip each other's heads off and they can't stand each other. I've seen that a lot. People think, you know, especially us, they try to emulate or see, you know, us as an example. They say, well, we can do that too. Uh, and they've done that in a, a number of different things, whether they're going in business together or working the same job together or at the same company, and it usually never works out like mm -hmm. that. But, you know, if you guys are in a regular relationship and you guys have your own separate jobs, even if you guys are at home because of COVID right now, you guys probably aren't spending, you know, that quality time during the day, mm -hmm. right? And if it's going on through the night or you have kids and stuff like that, you're going to have all these different distractions. Mm -hmm. So there's a couple times in the year where you really want to make it special. And like I said, you know, you have the different Hallmark holidays, you know, like Valentine's Day and such. But your anniversary should be very important. It's and a, you should, not even that, you should make it special, not just by dinner. You should make, like, something memorable. So I'm going to use my example because it's great. Uh, and I'll show you guys. Hopefully we'll get you guys some pictures. Um, but what I did this year, because I had to get it, you know, I had to really think about it. Because after so many years, every year you do something, right? You're like, okay, I can't do that again, right? <laughs> and you're, you know, because you can't just duplicate it because then you didn't even put any thought process behind yeah, it, right? that's not good. And now we're at 13 years, so I'm like, okay, so we're not technically at 15, which is like, you know, a, a milestone, milestone, 10. You know, it's a milestone, milestone. So I'm like, I got to do something. What do I do? So, of course, you know, Google <laughs> helps me with everything. <laughs> so I Googled some great ideas, and I'm like, eh, you know, so finally came up with my own little idea and what I did was it was really cool it was good so I was able to make a card with our picture on it Very right cool so like instead of it being like a card from the store I made it and it has our picture when you first pull it up as our picture yep. and it just says like love in a little heart and then when you open it, it has my own little thing what I want to say and on the back 
it says J and S in a little heart, <laughs> and it says 2008. So it's it was kind of cute, and I was able to write in it. Um, and then as far as, you know, gifts, when it comes to gifts, it doesn't, you don't always have to get somebody a gift, but I mean, just getting a gift, even if it's inexpensive, it doesn't have to be diamonds every time, guys, mm -hmm. you know, you don't have to go all out. But you know what I did was I got shit because we didn't we do drink a lot of champagne. So it's just it's funny because I gave it to him <laughs> knowing that we drink a lot of champagne. But I got two champagne glasses and they were like engraved with, you know, my name and then his name and then the date, like our anniversary date. So just try to put a little thought process behind it, make it cute. You know, it's nothing serious, nothing big, but, you know, just enough where it's like, OK, yeah, she actually put some thought process behind it, you know. Very nice. It definitely was a surprise. And that, you know, the car was really cool. Like, <laughs> you know, the card, you know, with our picture on it, which is a really customized card. Uh, it was really nice. And obviously what you wrote, wrote in it was even more beautiful. Uh, so, you know, and that's what really counts, heart. you know, because your, your anniversary is your landmark. That's another year you guys have been together. It, it's definitely, you know, a challenge to stay together, especially in today's environment with everything going on. Instagram. All these distractions and all these people <laughs> that are trying to get in your relationship or, or try to, you know, influence it in ways and shapes and forms. Mm -hmm. So when you're doing this, you know, you can think of a romantic thing. Now, every year it doesn't have to be the same and don't do the same. So don't just go to dinner every year. Mm -hmm. You guys can go to dinner, but do something afterwards or do something special. Like she said, it doesn't take a lot of money to do. Mm -hmm. It just takes some thought. Think about what your partner really, really likes, what they really, really appreciate, mm -hmm. and what you guys can enjoy together. Now, that doesn't mean going to get a video game because you guys will both enjoy a video aye, game, aye, either, right? Aye. Unless you guys are gamers, <laughs> and it might aye, work out really it well. It might work out. But something you guys both enjoy, her and you. I mean, I think that's the most important thing, you know? Um, and if you guys can't get away because of COVID and stuff like that, you guys can plan great things like a day at the spa. You guys uh -huh. can go get a massage. You That's know? what we're doing. Go hang out you know, <laughs> together and have some peace and quiet together. Have some lunch together, whatever it may be. Yeah, I really like this place particularly. I think we brought it up in a, a prior episode. Go check those out, by the way. Yeah. Um, but they make you put your phone in the locker. You should have seen the, this, the shock on my face the last time we went. I'm like, what do you mean? I'm not putting my phone there. Like, I, I got things to do. Like, no, no, no. You're here at the spa. You can hang out, relax. So put it in the locker and they make you lock it. And I'm like, hee, <laughs> But, you know, it's nice because, you know, there's no distractions or anything. You know, a, a good one, and I would recommend this to every guy out there, I think, is flowers. You can't go wrong with flowers. You cannot guys. go wrong with flowers. John is really good. Okay, he gets where, 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 Venus. So where? Venus Ophir, if you guys <laughs> don't know what that is, it's this awesome company. And they create these flowers, um, and these flowers last for a whole year. They're real flowers. Mm -hmm. And you can smell them and everything like that. They look great, right? I have them all still. Yeah, so, you know, Sharice, I've gotten many <laughs> through the years, obviously. They're all over the house. You know, they're, they're not the most inexpensive thing, but the quality is there. They look quality over quantity, you know? Mm -hmm. You could go get some, some flowers from some push cart guy, and they might not be the best flowers. Or you can get really, really good flowers. And there's a difference when you look at them. Through the times, I know. You know, I know the difference. Like, I'll look at him like, oh, man. Like, you like know. did you get that from the stand down the street? <laughs> <laughs> not to say that that's not that's good not either. Because there, there could be some, some natural guys out there that, that grow great organic roses or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But, uh, you know, going with this, they're going to be there. They're going to last for a whole year. Yeah, so even good. if you get multiple times, every time they smell those flowers or look at that nice, pretty suede box, they're going to remember. Yep. Um, and that just helps you guys out. So yeah, that's a good thing for you guys. <laughs> you know, adding on a card and saying something from the heart. I think that's mm -hmm. the next biggest thing. Huge. You know, it doesn't take any money to do. None. Mm -hmm. It only takes your thought, so your brain, and your heart, and speaking from it. So at that point, you guys will come up with something special that maybe you guys have some inside jokes. I mean, I'm pretty sure, actually, and I talk about, like, you know, when we didn't have many funds in the bank account. I'm pretty sure on one anniversary, because we didn't have funds, what I did was, was obviously I made him a card, but then I made him, like, remember the little coupons? Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I wrote them out, too. Yeah, literally, yeah. like, yeah. one free massage. Yeah. <laughs> redeemable at any time yeah. i think the other one was a couple other fun things but you know it was add some fire to that relationship yeah. <laughs> coupons make some coupons ious <laughs> I, that was it <laughs> it was ious and they're stuck in the card ious and these are these are really you know these are like i said these That's are things funny. that don't cost money you know it's just you guys sharing more time together which is going to enhance your relationship you know for the better you want that you want that 
personal connection and that romance still. Um, you know, maybe not the guys, but the females want it. I don't care if they say they don't. Mm, yeah, they I do. Know, they no. do want a little bit, right? They want to be serenaded and, 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 and just feel like they're number one to you. And I think that's really the important thing. On the anniversary, make sure your significant other means, means the world to you and you show them that they're number one. Mm -hmm. And you guys even talk about some of your old experiences that got you to that point. You know, because you guys have probably been some good, some bad. And, you know, even with some of the bad before, you might be able to laugh about some of it now or talk about it and not, you know. Bite each other's face off. Yeah, it might, you know, it might be something you guys can get over and feel a lot better about. But the good experiences, the good memories, those are always there. And you guys can always bring those up and laugh about some of those times as well. <laughs> so this was just the anniversary special of Cupid's Corner. 13 years. 13 years down for us. AKA 26. You know, I hope you guys have long-lasting relationships, you know, marriages. And you guys enjoy a lot of great anniversaries together. Don't forget what your anniversary date is. We've got too much technology. Put it in a calendar. Do something. Yeah. I have had some friends forget about anniversaries. Yikes. And they've been married a long time, you know. Yikes. Once you're past that 10-year mark, even five years, if you forget one year, if you forget, they're going to cheat like seven or, Yeah, once like 7 or 8 o'clock rolls around, like we totally know you forgot. Don't do that. <laughs> Set a calendar, set a date, <laughs> let it go off, put it in your computer. Whatever I don't you let John do. forget. I'm just like, hey, our anniversary is in three weeks. Hey, our anniversary is in two weeks. Hey, our anniversary is next week. <sighs> hey, our anniversary is tomorrow. I already know this. <laughs> anyway, so that's just another tip and trick from me and Sharice to you guys. Don't forget your anniversary <laughs> and make it special. So we want to thank you guys for joining us for another Cupid's Corner. And we'll be here every Sunday at 11 a.m. on ABC. And you guys can also catch us if you miss it on YouTube or our Facebook page for the full episodes. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll catch you next week for another Cupid's Corner. Thanks, See you guys. Then. Bye.